Hey, what's going on? In this video, you are going to learn how to identify and overcome the one thing stopping you from making more money. All right, so let's talk about making more money and what's stopping you from making more money because it's easy, especially right now, with all of the experts on social media and everything available to us in books and podcasts, it's easy to convince yourself that you're not making more money or that the thing stopping you from making more money is information. I don't have the right tools, I don't have the right plan, I don't have the right stepping stones, and I get it. But that is the easiest excuse to fix with a Google search. But what happens is when we get the information, we get the game plan, we, at the crucial moment, we procrastinate. And that is the thing holding you back from making more money. I like. Let's be honest, this is a tough pill to swallow because it's easier to say, well, I don't have the right resources, I don't, I don't have the right network, I don't have the right people, I don't have the right upbringing, I don't have the right systems, whatever. Procrastination is the thing preventing you from building those things, from connecting those things, from acquiring those things, from diving into those things, from taking the information that you have available and taking the information that you're adding to your skill set and using it. It is procrastination. So let's zoom in on procrastination. Let's slow it down so we can identify what's actually going on at a neurological level when you know there's something you need to do and you avoid it. Because if you think about, think about this past year, think about everything big, important, or productive that you procrastinated on. And what would your life look like today if in each and every one of those instances, you did the work, you took the action, you rose to the occasion? Leave guilt and shame out of this. We're not here for guilt and shame. We're here to objectively audit. What would your life look like and what would your income look like if in the last year, every moment that you procrastinated, you did the work instead. What would your love life look like? What would your relationships look like? What would your body look like? What would your mental health look like? It'd probably be pretty freaking amazing. So let's talk about procrastination because once you know how to overcome it, what is going to stop you? A lack of information? Nope, because you can look that up. You can read that book. You can hire that coach. You can go to that networking event. You can do the information thing. But learning how to overcome procrastination, that is where the magic happens. So let's look at it, because it's easy to think it's just this spell cast upon us, right? Like, ah, I just didn't do it. Ah, I made an excuse. Ah, I got overwhelmed. Ah, I got distracted. Ah, I did anything else except the thing I know I need to do, right? It's easy to think it's just this wave that takes us over like a puppet and starts pulling our strings. But there's something going on up here. There is a mechanism in which you decide not to do the work. And so if we slow it down, Let's look at why we procrastinate. We procrastinate because internally, if we slow down and we listen and we feel internally, there is a feeling associated with the task we know we need to accomplish. There's a feeling and it's a negative feeling, obviously. There's a tightening in our body. There's a, a fear or a worry. Or if we really dig into it, sometimes it's an anxiety or an unworthiness. Who am I to take this task? Who am I to take this action? Who am I to do these things, right? There's a questioning of the self. There's doubt sometimes. There's fear sometimes. What if it goes wrong? What if it doesn't work? And I'm here to tell you, failure doesn't exist. It's all feedback. Zoom out and it's all feedback. But these are the stories that the mind tells you and so think about the last time you procrastinated and think about the moment right before you decided not to do the thing. And in that moment, something went on in your mind and in your body. That's where decisions come from. We like to think our conscious mind is the decision maker. Studies have shown for over a decade that 99% of what we choose is already, de already decided at a subconscious level, right? Based on how we feel, and the quick compulsive thoughts that emerge based on how we feel. And so, next time, it is your time to take the action that serves you. It doesn't matter if it's waking up on time, doesn't matter if it's going to the gym, doesn't matter if it's doing your outreach, making that hire, creating a system, creating SOPs, making that sales call, whatever your, prod, your most productive thing is that you maybe procrastinate on most. As you enter that moment, Slow down, 
slow down. And when you get that feeling that precedes procrastination for you, we, I have my own feelings that precede procrastination, right? For me, it's tension. My heart closes. I literally feel tension here. And then the stories begin. Do I have enough time to do this task? Will this task even work? Right? All of these stories. But here's the thing. I can change the voice of those stories. Literally, I was at boxing today and I wanted to quit. My muscles were fatigued. My lungs were dead. And I stopped and I listened and my, my mental voice was like, this is enough. You've, do you've done enough. And I literally just said, keep going. Keep going. So this voice that was overbearing telling me to stop, I changed what it was saying and I, and I moved it right here to my heart. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And I kept going. Back before Wake Up Wealthy and I was running and building my own successful multiple six-figure coaching practice, I had to build it from scratch. I had no audience. I had no credibility. I was just some dude who used to be in fitness, but my heart was calling me to change lives at a deeper level. And so guess what? I had to rebrand. I had to hire people to redo my website. I had to hire coaches. I had to do so much outreach, risking so much rejection. And there were these moments where I was like, I just can't do it today. I can't send 50 videos today. I can't get on 20 calls this week. And then I stopped and I realized that my body was feeling closed off and tense. So I breathed because when you change your physiology, you change your neurology. When you change your body and your posture and your breath, you send safety messages to your brain. So when you literally change your posture and breathe in deeply in and out of your heart, you start telling your brain, hey, we're not in as much danger as you think we are. And that opens up this little door for different thoughts to come in. And so in these moments, I would listen to the voice and the voice is saying, hey, you, you don't have enough energy. Hey, you don't have enough time. Hey, what if these people say no? And I, I literally, I was like, well, yeah, if I'm listening to that voice, it makes sense why I want to procrastinate. So I just said something different. This voice that was lording over me, I brought it down to my heart and I changed it to, it'll be worth it. Keep going. It'll be worth it. Keep going. What's the alternative? Quit? Come on, keep going. And in six months, I was able to go from a brand new mindset transformational coach with no idea what he's doing, no clients, no brand, no systems, to a six-figure coaching practice without spending a bunch on ads and all this. And I was really proud of myself. But guess what? I still face procrastination today. It is a, it's, it's a self-preservation mechanism. It's just your brain. It's the neurons in your brain firing, trying to keep you safe and comfortable in your comfort zone. That's all it is. Take all the shame and the guilt and the anxiety out of it. Take all the emotion out of it. It's just a self-preservation mechanism. That's all it is. But when you slow it down, when you slow it down and you, what is my body feeling right now? When I'm on the verge of procrastination, yeah, my body's kind of feeling tense. Okay, let me open up. Let me breathe more deeply. Breathe in and out of your heart. Heart breathing is shown to lower and slow down your brain waves. So when we're worried and we're procrastinating, we're in high beta brain waves, just meaning we're thinking incoherently. We're arguing with ourself. Heart breathing, like literally you can do it now as you watch the rest of this video. You can imagine each breath comes in your heart and imagine each breath exits your heart. And when you do that, you'll notice a subtle shift in calmness. Simple, it's easy. And so when you can change your physiology and then what is my brain even telling me right now? It's telling me I'm gonna fail. It's telling me it might, I might get rejected, literally change the voice. You have that power. Your conscious brain, your neocortex, you have that power to change the voice. I can do this. It will be worth it. What is the alternative? Quit? No way. And when you can do that, shift your physiology and shift some of the mental noise and breathing through your heart will help that. You can change. You can create space so you can take the action. That is how you make more money. You take more productive action. You take more goal-aligned action. I know that sounds simple, but listen, you take a goal-aligned action. It either works and you move forward or it doesn't work and you have feedback. That is it, that is it. Remove the guilt, the shame, the unworthiness. That's all that is. 
And that's all it's ever gonna be. Once you make your first seven figures, guess what? How do you get to the multiple seven figures? You take goal-aligned actions, it either works and you keep going, or it doesn't work, you take the feedback and optimize. How do you get from multiple seven to eight figures, right? How do you go from 15% body fat to 10% body fat? Keep taking goal-aligned action and it either works or it doesn't and you optimize. And in those moments of procrastination, instead of acting like someone casts a spell over you, come back into your body, notice where you're tense, breathe through your heart, and change the mental noise. Change the dialogue. You can even change where it's coming from. Make sure the voice is coming right from your heart. You can do this. And this isn't just woo-woo jargon. At Wake Up Wealthy, we've seen over, at this point, almost 400 men overcome procrastination and scale to the multiple six, the seven, the multiple seven. And we have guys at this point breaking into the eight-figure level. And while they're doing that, they're getting in amazing shape. They're, they're, they're taking care of their mental health. Their relationships are flourishing. Because why just succeed in one area when you can succeed in all of them? So this is the brutal truth. Procrastination is the one thing preventing you from making more money. Information is easy, instantly accessible. Action, on the other hand, is very valuable. And if we're being honest, it's very rare. Goal-aligned, consistent action will make the difference for you. It will move you past your competitors. It will make you a better human. And that's just the truth. And again, I can speak powerfully about this because I've seen it in my own life as I've built businesses. And at Wake Up Wealthy, I've seen it over 400 times. It just works. And it makes sense why it works. Goal-aligned action moves you towards your goal. Procrastination moves you away from your goal. Remove procrastination and you move towards your goal. Easy, simple. So do this because it works and you'll notice a huge difference.